how to satisfy Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness moment. Don't do anything for your personal sense Do everything for Krishna's sense gratitude. That's why the gopis, they used to go to Krishna. These gopis, they were married because in India twelve years, thirteen years girls are married. Still, I have told many incidences. So from childhood they are friends, small children, but the girls are married early. So they go to their husband's place, thirteen, fourteen years. But because they had, they prayed the Kaptayani. When they are not married, they prayed to Kaptayani that Krishna is so beautiful, please give me Krishna as my husband. Krishna is all attractive. So Krishna fulfilled their desire, and that is Vastrahara. Of course, these things are not publicly discussed, but still you are little interested in Krishna. So all the gopis, girls, before their marriage, they prayed to Kartayani that give, give me Krishna as my husband. So Krishna, it is not possible socially, but Krishna made such a plan that he accepted every one of them as his wife. And that is Vastrahanlila. Vastrahanlila, the girls were taking bath in the Javara, keeping their clothing, garments on the shore. Still in India, especially in Punjab, the practice is that where the women take bath, strictly no man can go there because they put their clothing on the shore and they dip into the water naked. So this was being done and Krishna took their clothing and got up on the tree. So they begged Krishna, their friends, Krishna, this is very bad. Why you have taken our way? No, you break the clothes with folded hand, then I shall do <laughs> So, you have read this story, you do not require. But the idea is that you wanted me, all of you, as your husband. Now I am fulfilling your desire. I am seeing you naked. Because a woman can be naked only before the husband. No else. This is chastity. A woman cannot be naked anywhere else, just like in the class naked does. This is most above. Woman can be naked only before the husband. That will be explained. He was Brahman, he was well trained as a brāhmaṇa, but one day while he was coming home with the ingredients of worshipping the deity, he saw one śūdra embracing another śūdra girl, embracing, kissing, because they have no same. No brāhmaṇa khatriya vaiśya will do that. It is not etiquette. But because the śūdra, now it is Everywhere we can see this embracing, kissing, open to everyone. So a young man, seeing this, how he can restrain, check his lusty desire? It is not possible. The Kali Yuga is so fallen. If a young man sees another young man, he is enjoying with another young girl, then naturally his lusty desires increase. So these things are forbidden, therefore, still in some places it is forbidden. That you cannot, India is strictly forbidden. There is no such thing 
In the public street, a young man can embrace or kiss. No. That is not possible. Then it will be criminal. Like that, a young boy can dare to speak with another young man on the street. Still, it is criminal. And she will again immediately protest. That is the incivility. So the whole civilization is how to restrict the sex desire. Because why restrict sex? Because this sex desire and sex life will keep him within this material world in different bodies, either as human being or as animal or as bird or as insect. So long there will be this sex desire to become free, to become liberated, made to become liberated from sex desire. That's all. This is the basic, basic principle. Not that this tantra yoga, how to increase sex desires. This is not civilization. Civilization is how to cut down sex desires and ultimately become free, paramount. That is civilization according to Vedic culture. Therefore the training from the very beginning, Brahmacharya. And Brahmachari is instructed in such a way that remain Brahmachari throughout the whole life. A Brahmachari is open to accept either as Vidastasam or Banaprastasam or Sannyasasam, but the Guru advises better remain all through Brahmachari. No bothers. So he is trained properly, but still, if he has deserved, then he is allowed to become a grihastha. That is also for a limited time. The whole plan is how to stop. Because as soon as here, that uh, Ajami, he was not properly married, he became the husband of a prostitute, but there are ten children, but he is entangled with the family, with children, and now he is engaged. Bhajnana, Prabhupam, Khalam, Balakam, Srihajantita, one after another, first of all sex desire. Pumshan, Sriyami, Thunibhava, Meta. This whole, what is this word? Material word. The material world makes sex desire. That's all. The woman is hunting after man and the man is hunting after woman. Either in the human society, or bird society, or beast society, or dog society, or cat society, the principle is sex. And the human society means to understand this, that what is the basic principle of material life? If you understand this sex, therefore we have to cut down the sex desire gradually by becoming brahmachari, dhyastha, manapurusha, sunlash, this is the problem.